Hello guys, welcome to Study IQ, and I welcome you in this uh, daily Hindu analysis video. In the morning, these videos come both in Hindi and English, and in the evening, the PIV videos they come. In Sunday, on Sunday, uh, PIV videos they don't come, but uh, on uh, all other days, all the lessons are available. And uh, the PDF you will get on the Telegram channel and on my Facebook group that uh, I have given you on the last page. And 7th of April it is. Let's start. These are the numbers there you can call and you can ask for these pen drive courses. All are important, saving lakhs of your rupees. And you see the reputation of Study IQ uh, is like that. They have created their own image by their hard work. All the teachers, all the team, the kind of attention they have, the kind of focus they have on their work, and uh, hard work, smart work, and the strategist uh, uh, way that they are they are uh, giving to you people, that is unparalleled. And there is no show off all are focused uh, areas that they are concentrating on for students and these courses are extremely important so it, it is uh, one of the rare institutes where things are simple and focused no show off so this is the website of study iq and follow it uh, and call for these courses extremely important ones first mcu that i gave to it uh, it was regarding the lakshmi vilas bank that we discussed yesterday that uh, the merger is going to happen between Lakshmi Vilas Bank and India Bulls Housing Finance Board and you see I discussed with you the capital adequacy ratio or the capital risk uh, weighted adequacy ratio as we can call it and some other important issues which are related with the NPA situation which are related with the uh, the asset management issues and you see it was in dire need of this merger and a lot of information is going on regarding the banking so this year it is going to be the air where uh, these uh, IBC code is going to be very very important appellate tribunal for that that is going to be important the companies act 2013 that is going to be important and these mergers or uh, election bond issues they are going to be important because these are related with the banking sector and uh, the recoveries which were possible uh, in the IBC code and the SR issue and all they all were supporting the banking NPA crisis and the verdict that came by Supreme Court where it quest the particular circular circular of RBI on uh, February 12th that uh, uh, time should be given to these uh, ent entrepreneurs and all and uh, that was a step seen as against these moves which are taken as a solution for the NPA crisis so uh, RBI has a problem with that Supreme Court verdict so all these are making very important context for the uh, prelims examination this year and the mains examination also so you should be clear about all the concepts related to that uh, go through the banking chapter in the Ramesh Singh book and uh, learn for the important monetary tools of RBI the qualitative tools and quantitative tools both all, all are important liquidity adjust adjustment facility this is going to be important I'm telling you all these things as an important uh, topic because Sunday session is prelims exam oriented session so uh, uh, this is a very very important to talk to you about the most important aspects of this year which are making a very important context because context is very very important from the context static uh, questions and the current affair questions they are gonna come okay so this is the source and as I discussed with you on 17th of February, uh, 17th of March, that how they are going to uh, ask questions in the prelims. What is the context? So this is the context here. Next question is regarding the Cognac tribe. Yesterday we saw a picture where they all were dancing. That was the Owling Fest Festival by Cognac tribes. It is a unique tribe among the 16 tribe of Nagas. Around 16 tribes are there. 16 are uh, uh, residing mainly in Nagaland and uh, you see Nagaland is so famous historically also when first we started this APSPA act and all that Nagaland was the main area where the whole context was based because they declared all India Naga Federation and uh, they boycotted 1952 election also so Naga's history has been very very fierce and they were infamous for the head hunting also during British period, when British came to know about these things, they were horrified by these uh, tribes that uh, so fierce these are, and they are great rivals of rival of each other. So many tribes are living there; they all are taking uh, part in festivals today. But in history, they have been uh, uh, great rivals of each other, and in a way, enemy of each other. They used to kill each other's uh, people, and they used to bring their heads, and they would hang it on the entry of their villages. So that was a very famous thing till today we have symbols of those things 
ओके सो नागालैंड इज अ वेरी यूनिक प्लेस एंड मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ ट्राइब्स आर देयर इन दीज नॉर्थ ईस्ट स्टेट्स एंड इट्स अ वेरी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल एरिया बट सम स्कर्मिश सम ट्रबल्स सम डिस्टर्बेंसेस आर ऑल्सो देयर गवर्नमेंट इज नाउ ट्राइंग टू फाइनलाइज द नागालैंड डील एज दे साइन इट इन टू बट नाउ दे आर गोइंग टू complete that so the, it's in a last phase so they are trying to find new avenues peaceful avenues there but uh, there are challenges so nagaland would be very very important this year so konyak tribe is belonging to nagalands and they are one of the naga tribes facial tattoos are their uh, important uh, characteristics and uh, faces hands chest arms skulls everywhere they put these tattoos and you see they uh, these are unique tribe things or the practices which are setting them apart from other tribes are gunsmithing iron smelting brass work gunpowder making and they also adept in uh, making janglao which are matches means uh, they have their own technologies also so that's very important they inhibit mainly the mon district also known as the land of the angs because ang uh, are their traditional chiefs whom they hold in high esteem and auling festival which uh, uh, we saw the picture yesterday celebrated in the in the first week of april from 1 to 6 to welcome the spring the spring season that is going on and this is biggest festival of the konyaks and it is important for the seed sowing because after spring they are going to sow the seeds so after uh, uh, this phase would go after summers are completed then the harvest time would come and the harvest festival is lao ong mo so that is also important so this year tribes are going to be very very crucial because you see we saw a great important topic of forest right acts and the cancellation of the uh, forest dwellers uh, claims on their particular lands so this year the pesa act of 1996 and the fra act of 2006 and these tri these will make the important context uh, for this year's questions important background so you should perfect all these things the harvest festivals the spring festivals the specific new years like losar festival is there in the tibetan area in the area of sikkim in the area of eastern uttarakhand and uh, the northern nepal area they celebrate uh, losar festival and that is the uh, tibetan new year so that these kind of details are important and the important folk dances like manipur's sankirtana and assam's bihu or uh, the mighty group uh, miti group which is there in manipur and mizoram tribes all these are going to be extremely important this year because many issues are centered around tribals and the forest dwellers okay so they may ask you about all these things some important southern tribes like uh, uh, toda uh, we which are there in the nilgiris they are hunter and gatherers so they may ask you whether these are traditional uh, agriculturist or hunter gatherers or they are involved with some kind of a specific task like irulas Irulas are found in Kerala, and they are snake charmers. And one uh, very very famous person, Govinda, is there. He uh, catches king cobras barehandedly. So these are very important details regarding tribes. The Kandamal uh, Haldi this time, uh, which has given the GI tag, that is grown by Odisha's tribe. So Odisha's tribes are also going to be very very important. There are seventy five. particularly vulnerable tribal groups pvtgs and the maximum number of pvtgs are there with the odisha state so these kind of details they are asking you and uh, the central region of india mainly the red corridor where these uh, maximum number of tribes are living so they may ask you about that they may ask you about the gonds bagas abujmars and chandals and all uh, that uh, they are present in which state so these kind of detail, details are going to be very very important this year so i'm telling you all the important backgrounds for the prelims this year okay and which are hovering around tribal issues next question is uh, regarding these cities they are cities of iraq so b is the answer here you see baghdad is the capital ramadi very important city ibril mosul kirkuk all important historical cities samara very important city kut very important city and basra city uh, located near the port of bamiyan and uh, Uh, you see this part is the only part which is open to the water body of persian gulf okay so uh, this is important mesopotamia is the ancient civilizations name which were present which was present in this area tigris 
and uh, euphrates rivers which are coming here uh, on the banks of these rivers the, Mes the mesopotamia's uh, civilization was located so they may ask you uh, questions regarding that and uh, other cities are important syria cities like al raqqa aleppo damascus home all are important okay so uh, in the context of isis when they destroyed all these cities and uh, one more city on the eastern border of syria that was important from where they uh, subdued and removed the last lot of isis groups half of them they surrendered half of them they disappeared in the syrian deserts so the city's name was on uh, letter b the, it was starting from letter b so tell me the name of that city where they were located at last and after that it is declared that isis is no more there in the syrian region and the iraq region and the kurds issue was very very important in this area they may ask you about the geographical territory of kurdistan and the levant area so they are gonna be important this year next question was regarding the capitals uganda kampala right south sudan's uh, capital is abuja not bangui bangui is car's capital central Afri african region republic of congo Kins Kins kinshasa this is interesting you see uh, congo was a single country then it became two countries republic of congo roc and drc democratic republic of congo so the capital of drc is kinshasa brazzaville which is located uh, nearby just across the border so brazzaville is the capital of republic of congo so this is a confusion a famous question angola's capital is luanda okay so these are gonna be very very important and one and four is the right answer here you see uganda kampala uh, important uh, country here near the equator okay tanzania and lake victoria which is uh, spread into three countries kenya tanzania uganda rwanda burundi these are landlocked countries and uh, uh, the great rift system they may ask a question regarding that you see the horn of africa this region is horn of africa okay and it is actually separating from the mainland of africa and that is why these uh, lakes are present here but it will take thousands of years to get separated totally from this area and this rift system has been developed in last thousands of years so they may ask you about that CR Central African Republic a very disturbed country because of this uh, terrorism and these uh, uh, groups uh, issues Bangu is the capital of it Cameroon's capital is Yonde Lagos is a very important city in Nigeria Lagos is a very big city located on the on the uh, Gulf of Guinea and Abuja is the capital of Nigeria Nigeria is the most populous uh, country of Africa Angola's capital is Luanda and uh, this is DRC so Sudan's capital is Khartoum South Sudan is the uh, latest country added to the UN list 193rd country and the capital is Juba okay Abuja is the capital of Nigeria I wrongly told it about South Sudan it's Juba Abuja is Nigeria uh, Nigeria so please do not get uh, confused between these countries and the Ebola virus that was spread into Western African countries those were these countries okay Ghana Togo Sierra Leone and Burkina Faso all these countries are there and north to it you see i forgot to tell you north to it it is the sahel region that you see uh, it is starting in the color of yellow it is sahel region the great sahara deserts region next question rodis as i told you rodis is a, a company of canada it's a subsidiary of their pension fund uh, authority and it's a important financer and technical assistance provider in the road and transport network area and it has joined hands with niif national infrastructure and investment fund of india it's a kind of a sovereign fund of india and it was announced in budget 2015 first it used to be a national investment fund it was started in 2005 and it was decided that whatever money that would come from the disinvestment of the psus the stakes as the government is selling on a regular basis the PSUs which are not working anymore and they are going through a lot of losses so they are going to sell their uh, stakes to private entities or some other important entities like PSUs or banks or, and all so whatever money come from this particular disinvestment that fund would go to the national investment fund and that fund would be used in the welfare schemes and it was 
announced in 2005 in national investment fund but it is no more there and in 2013 it was discontinued and the money was diverted into public account of india again then in 15 budget this niif was announced the corpus fund was 40000 crore rupees it was asked this amount was asked in the prelims 2016 and you see it is called the banker of the banker of the banker why you see national housing bank irfc they are financiers they give loans to banks and ultimately these loans are given to normal public to the banks by the banks so if a housing loan is given by uh, sbi or some other uh, bank then nsb is gonna refinance that bank and this niif is actually investing this money into these financiers so that is why it is called banker of the banker of the banker and it has three important funds funds of funds uh, specific funds and uh, their categories according to the investment sometimes they are investing into greenfield projects and sometimes they are investing into brownfield projects what are these if nothing is there it is open land then if any construction is starting from this area maybe it's an airport so it is called greenfield airport means nothing was there and now a new construction a totally new plan brownfield means something was there as a non-functional entity and they are gonna uh, improve it they are gonna renovate it they are gonna upgrade it and these are brownfield projects so in both kinds of uh, projects they are investing and uh, they are also investing in the equities of uh, uh, nbfc's and asset management companies and all you see what are asset, asset management companies when you see banks are giving loans then they have this particular risk that these loans they may fail so they will suppose 100 rupees they are giving as loans so this is going to be an asset if they are recovering from it they are getting the installments then it is an asset it is uh, the money that banks are earning if they think that uh, this 100 rupees loans that may be a defaulter then they will sell it maybe for 70 80 rupees to an asset management company if this is going to be a default uh, it's, it's going to be a defaulter loan then banks would not have all the loss because they have sold it for 80 rupees to the asset management company now asset management company would have to deal with it that how they are going to recover it these are very complex and very specific companies which are investing in many many areas many many uh, channels are there of investment and uh, they are uh, uh, going into all fields of economy so they have many avenues to recover uh, to recover uh, uh, this particular loan in many ways they may be having a, a membership in the board they may be having in some equity they may be having some debentures they may be uh, having some uh, uh, having some uh, right over companies assets and all so these kind of things uh, are uh, uh, applied by these companies and th they are making recoveries in the 2008 crisis these were the asset management companies who failed and the biggest asset management companies of the world like the company of warren buffett and all and uh, the uh, the goldman shares and all okay so these were uh, asset management companies and they uh, uh, had taken many many loans from these banks all these banks failed in europe and in some other countries and it was a wave of a failure and they could not recover all the loans because the economy was in a bad shape and people were not uh, having this capacity to repay these loans so all these companies failed and that is why it was a global crisis but we did not fail because our banking was very robust so in these asset management companies also these nif funds are invested so the task is very complex and they may ask you about that because a kind of a capital crisis is going on in india there is no private investment there is no uh, public investment although they are there in some amount but the required uh, numbers are not there and that is why economy is growing with a slow pace and the world economy is also uh, in a perilous state so asset management companies they may be asked and these infrastructure funds are very very important niif is uh, working finally in this troubled time also and that is why financial times uh, from london they had adjusted niif as most innovative structure in the asia pacific and under financial category so this is this is the importance and as i told you three important categories are there and functioning you can see here investment in many areas equities asset management companies and there are uh, they are attracting anchor investors also who are anchor investors 
they are investing in these funds because actual uh, task is to raise the money they are borrowing from market they are borrowing from government of india also government of india has given a corpus of 40000 crore rupees and 20000 crore rupees they may be given uh, every year and it is the decision of ministry of finance okay so they will uh, think about that that how they are going to manage that but anchor partners are these they are investing in nif and ultimately these this money is uh, invested in many areas and you can see here infrastructure projects stall projects and asset management companies nbfcs and all they are taking equities and all so this is the thing and this is the working of niif and a very important question it may be asked this year also and you see there is a condition that 49% of the share that should be contributed by the government directly and it is the minimum 49% it should not be less than that and cash rich psus like ntpc coal india limited and all they may contribute to this fund but it should be in addition to this 49% okay nif will work out of these retails in consultation with ministry of finance uh, if they are going to invest anywhere in the infrastructure project so the preferences would be decided collectively okay next murine endopeptidase uh, peptidase it's a particular enzyme and it is going to dissolve the bacterial cell wall and thus even the cell wall like the uh, tough bacteria of e coli which are present in half of the population of indians or maybe some other countries and uh, uh, it stays for long in your body so this kind of bacteria they also can be killed by this particular enzyme because the main thing about the antibiotics is that they work on this cell wall and now bacteria are becoming more and more resistance Uh, resistant and uh, these antibiotics are not working on them why because in countries like india when doctor prescribes that take this antibiotic for 3 days 5 days 7 days people take it for one or two days and they will stop because they are feeling uh, okay now and they are feeling healthy now and they don't think that we should take medicine anymore they become uh, doctor by themselves so this is the problem that is developing this resistance in these bacteria against these antibiotics and main culprits are the countries like india where poor population is there and very ignorant and very uh, obstinate uh, population is there they do not care they just think that these are uh, uh, somehow very much uh, dangerous for our body many consequences are there so we should not take these medicines uh, more than one or two days but doctor had prescribed that for 3 5 7 days and in the cases of tuberculosis they advise it for more than 8 to 9 months but they, they do not take it more than 1 2 3 months and that is why this mdr tb is developed in the countries like india and it, it has become the biggest menace of this world today and it is a menace for whole world and the reason is lying in the countries like india where people are ignorant and they are not taking medicines as they are prescribed and you see the over the counter issue where these medical practitioners are there or these uh, uh, pharmacists who are selling these drugs they also feel proud in uh, referring these medicines and in, in in selling these antibiotics just the way doctor prescribes them and they would sell these to these patients and patients are much more ignorant so in the end it is the flawed process of not following a particular a uh, course and that is why the bacteria are uh, developing as a resistant bacteria with a very fast pace they are evo- they are evolving very fast and that is called the anti uh, microbial resistance issue the very important issue of this world government came up with this red line campaign so that these antibiotics which are very very sensitive they are not sold over the counter they are sold only after the doctor's prescription and the full course is taken there okay so uh, these are problems emergency conditions in the medical field and now it's a very important discovery in this particular area and this discovery is there with the ccmb institute which is there in hyderabad okay they have come up with this uh, particular discovery and it is going to work on the cell wall of the bacteria it is going to dissolve the cell wall of the bacteria so that the medicine can reach up to the bacteria's body and it will be killed otherwise if the cell wall is not dissolved then it can, cannot be uh, killed and these are the chief scientists and all uh, uh, who created this particular enzyme and a very important discovery 
a path breaking discovery now the question is regarding the ccmb it's in uh, hyderabad and uh, center of excellence uh, uh, tag is given by unesco working under the aegis of cisr so these two are uh, right and this one is wrong so two and three is the correct answer here bio safety level four uh, containment facility is available with this ccmb institute only one uh, in india that's very important and all these institutes important research bodies research organizations of this world they have joined hand with the uh, ccmb it's a very re reputed institute in india and working under the ages of cisr so they may ask you the question regarding cisr they may ask you a question regarding ccmb and uh, this particular tag by unesco and about this particular enzyme and all the working of it very very important for this year these are the words that i found today and uh, now the mcqs that i'm giving to you you see praful patel is uh, selected as the fifa's council member for the first time from india he has been selected he is the president of uh, all india football federation and now he is selected so a boost is uh, going to be there for the football sector and uh, sector in india where india is not having any uh, official team uh, of uh, uh, india in this uh, uh, fifa listings and we are not able to compete in the world cup uh, there as a country okay so it is going to be an improvement here next information is very very important here uh, they are uh, trying to get new ways of bio remediation and they are working with a soil bacterium called pseudomonas putida and i have given you a question regarding this particular bacteria the details of this particular research are lying in the characteristic of this particular bacteria it normally bacteria they feed on uh, glucose first or these carbohydrates first but this particular bacteria that feeds on the aromatic compounds or the organic compounds first then it goes for the uh, glucose that means it can be a great help in the bio remediation what is what is bio remediation suppose there are organic wastes and we have put this organic waste in a particular chamber and we have put these bacteria now these bacteria are, are going to feed on them and they are going to degrade this matter so it is going to be a very healthy uh, and uh, very eco friendly method of um, uh, of uh, dealing with the organic waste and we may uh, create a lot of energy and natural gas out of this process and bacteria are the help here so it is bio remediation now pseudomonas putida it's a soil bacterium that is going to help here and uh, uh, find out this particular answer of this question and the details read about that on the wikipedia you will find the answer here next question is uh, regarding the national family health survey we discussed about the cesarean section deliveries which are rising in india and soon india would be uh, topping this particular list and this data is given by nfhs so the question may be asked regarding nfhs this survey whether it's an annual survey or not and uh, what is the nodal body which ministry is working uh, here next question is regarding the uh, international mines awareness day and a detail may be asked this year because the meghalaya incident happened the rat hole mining and all so this this year this particular uh, year which is celebrated on 4th of april that is important now the prelims mcqs for the last year as i discussed on the 17th of march a very important question that and i gave you the important knowledge about that that why this kind of questioning what is the context and why upsc is asking this kind of question this year you see there may be questions on the uh, supreme court's working there may be questions on lokpal's or uh, organizational setup there may be questions regarding cbi it's working and uh, the selection and uh, transfer and the removal who is responsible i told you yesterday regarding the cbi's dilemma where uh, lokpal has some authority over it government has some authority over it and uh, it can take so about cases so there are multiple uh, directions which are working on cbi so there may be question regarding that so all the provisions which are there in the lakshmi kant's book you should go through them you should do a research on these topics which i am giving you and last year there was, there was a question regarding ngt and cpcb you see these are the bodies which are appearing daily in the newspaper some other than for information is there even today if you go through the newspaper you see green court ask pollution control board to prepare noise pollution map this news was there two three days back and ngt is asking cpcb both are statutory bodies ngt act came in 2009 and uh, since 2010 it is working as a important tribunal and cpcb was established under water act of 1974 so it's an important uh, organization as a statutory body 
it is a deriving power from air act also of 81 year and uh, environmental production act of 86 which came after the Bhopal tragedy and uh, that is also given direction to it so many many acts they are giving direction to the CPCB body and it is working under their provisions and uh, it's a body under Ministry of Water and uh, uh, the uh, uh, River Ganga and, uh, and all, all these things okay so CPCB is also very very important body in the states there are pollution control board it is uh, uh, working on NAMP also national air monitoring program so that is also associated with the CPCB so so important this body is that many many questions you may make out of CPCB more than 10 questions can be framed so important this issue is because it is dealing with the pollution issue it is dealing with the ecosystem balance issue it is dealing with the mismanagement of uh, urbanization process and uh, the uh, problem which is so bad in India world's 15 most polluted cities are there so CPCB becomes the most important body as a statutory body okay so this is going to be important this year also so last year also this was important that's why they asked a question regarding NGT and all and uh, uh, this was the Ravi Shankar's uh, event that was going on NGT gave many many uh, threatening to uh, their program because they polluted Yamuna a lot so it was a question regarding NGT and CPCB very simple and important question from the environment section there are 20 to 25 questions every year so you should read every detail regarding these bodies and I'm, I have given you many 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 questions over that and I'm also working on the uh, mock questions series also that I told you about yesterday and today it is Sunday I'm gonna work on that uh, particular thing so let me give some time and in one or two days I will upload these uh, this PDF on the Facebook uh, page of mine and uh, Facebook uh, group is, is also there and on the telegram channel of study IQ I'm also gonna I'm also also gonna upload these uh, questions okay so read about that so that is why last year they asked a question about that and very Im important simple question and it is having many many confusions also because it was established under water act cpcb was established under water act and uh, uh, taking power from air act and directions from uh, environmental protection act so it's very confusing that is why they asked a question regarding that next a debate was going on regarding the uh, socialistic feature of our constitution and the secularism secularism aspect of our constitution things which were added uh, uh, in 42nd amendment in 1976 so originally secularism was not there in the constitution so some right-wing politicians they do not accept this thing and they say that originally it was not a part of the constitution so we uh, want to change it and you see uh, secularism is now a part of the basic feature but the debate was going on that whether we can change some things of the constitution whether this uh, basic feature doctrine it may be reviewed by the supreme court so changes in the constitution was the basic idea here and this ninth schedule which was brought up in 1951 by the Nehru administration where uh, the, if the, some act is uh, put under this ninth schedule then there cannot be any changes there cannot be any judicial review of it so this was again a controversial in uh, 73 it was uh, discussed again that whether there can be this kind of uh, provision in the ninth schedule that uh, there would not be no judicial review so this debate was going on and because of this that context they asked uh, about these particular topics these are simple topics of polity and uh, these chapters of uh, amendment these chapters of parliament these chapters of uh, 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 democratic features and uh, the important chapters of uh, uh, fundamental rights dpsps these are the most important chapters in the lakshmi Kant book so you should read each and every line of that book all other subjects you can go you can go with the summaries but you cannot go uh, uh, with the summary of Lakshmi Khan you can never go every line has question and every question is very very specific and you cannot score in polity if, if these deep explanations are not clear to you so you have to uh, read things thoroughly and you have to remember as much as you can but in perfection you have to remember that so that is why this question was important the people who are doing a deep study of the polity this was a very simple question the people who are doing a superficial study they could not answer this okay so that is why this was this was asked in the uh, paper last year 
and uh, this is all about today's lesson and this has become uh, uh, very long today so uh, i am working on those questions so please give me some time and uh, pdf you will get on the telegram channel and, those, and on the facebook group send me a request and i would upload all these uh, uh, question paper series pdfs on this group also on this uh, telegram channels also so be, be prepared for that thanks a lot keep watching